Hi everyone, it's Jillian and happy Monday. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, we will be working on this very easy three round motif. This is the front of the pattern and this is the back of the pattern. Very simple, very easy to make. Let's get started. To begin, you're gonna start with a slip knot on your hook. Chain 10. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're going to join to the first stitch with a slip stitch to form a ring. Chain six, and that chain six um, starts as a treble crochet and a chain two. Counts as a treble crochet and a chain two. You're going to make 12 treble crochets into the ring. Wrap your hook twice and pull two loops off the hook at a time. Chain two, treble crochet, chain two. And this will be repeat all the way around. Continue with this sequence of stitches and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the round, you're going to chain two and you're going to make a slip stitch into the fourth chain. One, two, three, four. And that is the end of round one and along with the chain six in the beginning you should have 13 treble crochets. For round two you're going to make a single crochet into a chain two space and into the same chain two space you're going to make a puff stitch and you're going to pull up a loop seven times into that stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're going to wrap your hook and pull through all loops on your hook. You're going to make a chain to close, chain three, and this will be the start of your repeat. And into the next chain two space, you're going to make a puff stitch, pulling up a loop seven times. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're going to wrap your hook and pull through all loops. Chain one to close and start your repeat again by chaining three. Make a puff stitch into the next chain two space. That's five, six, and seven. Pull through all loops on your hook. Chain one. And you're gonna continue with that sequence and I'll meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, you're gonna make a chain three. And you're gonna slip stitch to the top of the first puff stitch. And you're going to fasten off and in the next round you're going to be switching colors 
And that's the end of round two. For round three, I'm going to introduce a new color and I'm going to use a standing single crochet to join. To make a standing single crochet, you're going to put a slip knot on your hook. And you're going to join to, into any of the chain three space, it doesn't matter. And I hold the tail end up against the fabric and I insert my hook into the stitch. And I pull up a loop and there's two loops on your hook and you're going to pull through both loops for a single crochet stitch. And that's a standing single crochet. Into the same stitch you're going to make five double crochets. That's two, three, four, five. Into the same stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. You're going to repeat it by making a single crochet into the next chain three space, five double crochets. Three, four, and five, and one single crochet into the same stitch, into the same space. Repeat into the next chain, three space, single crochet, five double crochets. four and five and one single crochet into the same space. You're going to continue with the sequence of stitches and I will meet you at the end of the row. At the end, you're going to make a single crochet into the first um, chain three space. You're going to make a chain one and fasten off. And that's the end of this tutorial. You're just going to sew in your ends. That's what the back of it looks like. And enjoy your project as always thank you for visiting my channel please like and subscribe for more video tutorials and i'll see you in the next video